Remember this dog owner who stormed out of a hearing about her animals earlier this month? Well, today she answered to her criminal charges in this case, but the question remains, where are the dogs the city deemed dangerous and ordered her to surrender? Investigator Hannah Catlett is back on the story tonight. Just hours before the owner of the dogs was supposed to appear here in court today, she had her attorney enter a not guilty plea, meaning she didn't have to show up. However, the victims in this case still came. Well, somebody's got to hold somebody responsible. Tom McCafferty showed up hoping to see Amanda Ramos face a judge on 10 charges of dogs at large. He's one of four people North Olmsted police say the dogs attacked in May. And right now my hand's still swollen six weeks later. The city's animal warden says he didn't have space for the five dogs at the city kennel, so he left them with Ramos as the case proceeds. However, we last saw Ramos the day she stormed out of this meeting at City Hall, held to declare her five dogs that did this damage dangerous. Where are they right now? I don't know. You don't know where the dogs I are? I have no idea, honey. According to city council members, the city still doesn't know even after ordering Ramos to surrender her dogs so they can be humanely put to sleep. When the city's animal control officer first picked up the phone Tuesday, he told us he was not going to comment on the whereabouts of the dogs. Okay, but you're the animal warden, so wouldn't you be the one to ask? He eventually said he's driven by Ramos's home several times on Clegg Road and has not seen the dogs there. But he said he's not pursuing finding the dogs in another city. He then referred other questions to the county animal warden. No one's taking responsibility. They just keep passing it on. The Cuyahoga County warden told 19 investigates North Olmsted never asked for help in the Ramos case, and therefore the county's not involved, nor can they get involved now because the city already filed criminal charges against Ramos. Even more frustrating is that Ramos's next door neighbor says he made a report with the county last June when he was bit by one of the same dogs. Now these neighbors are left feeling like they'll forever be living on edge. Even if they're not in North Olmsted, there's still some place where they're able to get out at people. And my main concern is does someone is when someone finally dies over this or they maim someone so bad that they'll finally do something about it. It just seems like there's so many unanswered questions. Hannah Catlett, 19 News. Well, Ramos's criminal pretrial has not been scheduled yet, but we're told she will eventually have to come to court in the case.